Hi and welcome to my channel everyone. This is Jean-Louis from Switzerland, also known as JL Switzerland. And today I'm going to uh, show you the first episode of uh, the uh, journey to Japan. Uh, a thing that I did with like uh, four friends of mine and how he came about, I'll let you know right now. John Ho, who is a friend of mine from Hong Kong, was here in 2018 and um, he persuaded me to go to Japan. At the beginning, we were planning to go, two of us. But then another good friend of mine from America joined us. Uh, his name is John from LA. And another good friend here in Switzerland decided that he wanted to go with us uh, the first time to Asia. So the whole deal was set until a last good friend of us from the Netherlands, Casper, also decided he wanted to join us. So finally, it ended up to be five of us. The first one, John Ho from Hong Kong. The second one, John from LA. The third one, Casper from the Netherlands. And finally, Mike from Switzerland, like I am. We all have different itineraries. The first part is from Zurich or from Switzerland to Hong Kong, where we shortly met up with uh, John Ho and then continued our journey. But you'll get to see more about that later. And now, let's start the journey. Mike had left one day before John L.A. and I. Here he's seen checking out the approach onto Hong Kong. Ah, first impression of the airport. Riding. Uh. <laughs> uh, fun. Happy to arrived. Happy to have arrived? Let's see your hotel room. Hello. Look at this. It's so small. It has not even, you cannot open that window and here is also, that's actually also a window but you cannot make up that lid and behind this window you cannot open and yeah, it's f small. So they usually that's uh, for shower, they have no top here, whatever, so and that's the door and there are two actually three uh, ra uh, television programs and f these three television programs are not even clear to watch it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the lounge guys we're waiting for to board the, the flight to, uh, to Hong Kong which is flight going to be 11.50 you said 11.50 to 12 hours right yes. They have a candy bar. Yeah, who wants a candy bar? I want chips. They have a candy bar. The kids are over there going nuts. John is chaperoning. Chaperoning? <laughs> <laughs> Your face is red. Is it? <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's okay. I mean, I don't know. It's late at night already. So there's just a few more flights leaving. We were just talking about the Lentil concert tonight on the plane. <laughs> well, we need another four or five people to get the harmonies right. <laughs> We've got ten minutes to board. <laughs> have, have you flown in Norwegian Air? Yeah, last time from South America I flew Norwegian Air. Now I'm flying Swiss. Sibirskan. <laughs> Merlo? No, this is not Merlo. This is uh, Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. The lounge is about to lose its harmony. It's getting late. I want to get rid of it. We are down on the countdown to travel to Hong Kong. And uh, tomorrow we'll meet John Ho, we'll meet Mike, with Mike. So, um, We'll spend like 24 hours in Hong Kong, then go to Japan, then come back to Hong Kong for another three, four days. Uh, no, two, three days, actually. 
After the noise in the Swiss business class lounge, I was very happy to be on a very quiet and uneventful 11 hours flight to Hong Kong, where we finally arrived in the late afternoon. Sherpa John is working. You're traveling very light, I see. I'm traveling light. <laughs> And I just have a few things for overnight. <laughs> Hong Kong by night. Some great pictures taken by Mike. After checking in at the hotel, John L.A. and I left again to meet John Ho and Mike to drive over to uh, John Ho's friend's place for dinner. <laughs> so, sorry, so this is Patty. Patty. Hi. Cat. Catherine. Cat. Cat. Karen. 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 Oh. Hello. Ayen. 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 Yeah. JL. 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 Japan Airlines. Japan Airlines. Sean Louis. Oh. We have some dinner here with his friends. Here is Gia. Is this the No, 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 no. Yeah. After an incredible dinner at Eric's, I had to go to John Ho's place to pay a visit to my future godson, Micah. After a good night's sleep at the hotel, we had one day to kill as our flight was leaving to Osaka at night. So John Ho took us out for a little tour of the city and here we are on a tramway. Mike had already left for Tokyo where he met Casper and where both of them were supposed to join us in Osaka one day later. Overcrowded roads and subways in Hong Kong? Trust me, even though Switzerland has only a population of 8 million, we are not scared of masses. Finally, time had come for John, John and myself to take our night flight to Osaka, and as you see here, John had to recuperate from hosting a Swiss and an American for 24 hours in Hong Kong. All these strange sounds here. Bird sounds and, 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 and like anime sounds all over. Even the cash machine starts to, uh, to, 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 to blop. <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, <laughs> uh, we have arrived. So we are uh, at Kansai Airport <coughs> and we're going to Shin Osaka. Yeah. The train is coming in about like five, six minutes or something yeah. like that, right? I guess we will be meeting Casper uh, in about the same time. Yeah, yeah. Casper is bullet training too. Yeah, exactly. Was he, was he scoping it? Yeah. Sometimes you also have female only oh, cars. Oh, oh. Female only cars? Because Jesus, and if I don't see that as a foreigner, I just go in and I'll be uh... Oh, you'll notice it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I like don't... Going to a female's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I don't know. So I'm going in and there's suddenly sure I'm surrounded by a hundred females, you know. Don't give yourself excuse. If you want to go into one, just go into one. A lot of groping in the train? There's also a lot of Japanese porn that um, happens... They, they take the train scenario to make the uh, Japanese porn. The only porn in Asia is actually the Japanese. Well, get VPN. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Max Ryan, coach, how are you? How are you, Max? Max! Max, you should have joined us. Yeah, Max, you should have joined us. I mean, but it's my fault. I didn't. You've been, uh, you would be a fun, a fun supplement to all I this. Mean, I mean, Osaka, Kansai Airport has become one of the more popular. Uh, <laughs> Airports for budget airlines who come Osaka into China uh, into Japan. Oh, really? Because yeah. uh, traditionally you go to Tokyo Narita Airport, um, but then now they've opened this airport. For hey, the Val. International budget airlines they come in here, and you can go to Kyoto. You can go to hello Brazil. Places. Someone's oh. coming in. Konnichiwa. 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 <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but I think it's hello. It means how are you? It means good afternoon. Good afternoon. And how, uh, how are you? Yeah. So. so how long are you all doing this for? Uh, it's going to be for the next uh, four or five days. 
Right. I mean, Monday in Japan, night. yeah, in Japan for the Friday next four or five days. Friday night. So what? So what is it that you all are going to be doing in Japan? What's on the schedule? Um, I think uh, we're going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you have. We have one member in the team who has never eaten sushi before. What? Yeah. Uh, Kid you not. My other friend from uh, Switzerland who has decided to come and join the team, he's never had sushi before. I mean, we have it in Switzerland, but he's never touched it before. You know what? This country is scary. I mean, they they like they have the ding dong ding dong everywhere. I mean, this is like. It's it's scary. I mean, there's every, everywhere. There's there's like ding 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 ding. How is it scary? Yeah. It's supposed to make you calm. Make it's you the calm. sound. It's the soundtrack to your life. It's like a horror movie everywhere. You know why he's afraid? He saw a horror movie when he was in Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah. Now he's freaking out with everything. He's always somewhere in the back there. You see. Somewhere. <laughs> you see him. You see him in the pictures. You see him in the video. You see him. Any, he never scopes. He never does things like that. But he's always somewhere present. It's like he's a, a ghost. professional photo bomber. <laughs> All right. I we'll have to go. Okay. Bye. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. After a nice walk around Dotonburi district, we just had to get a noodle soup and get prepared for our Periscope meeting with our Japanese friends from Periscope. One of the main reasons for our trip to Japan. We met all our Japanese Periscope friends and there was a surprise for one of them. And now to Mike's first sushi right. tasting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is your first take on sushi. Yeah. 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 Do you know what's inside? Uh, I think it's a uh, tuna. Yes, it's tuna. You need to put sauce in it first. Did you dip the sauce? Okay. Uh, Wait, is that the right sauce? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Probably yes. Okay. Savor it. Okay, take it slow. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Raw fish. Describe it, if you can, when you're ready. I have that in my mouth. So. Does, it, does it taste the same as you imagine? No. No? Is it better or is it... Yeah, it's the first, so I will try other stuff, I think. Sushi and seafood in general are not a really Mike's preferite food. And after five days in Japan, he absolutely had enough of it. Get some uh, crazier stuff, but... <laughs> what? Yeah. And nothing tops a great karaoke after some hearty food. Everyone had the chance to prove their skills. Of course, even the two romantic guys got their chance. Thank you to all our friends for this wonderful meetup. We will never forget you. I really hope you did enjoy this first episode. The next episode will lead us from Osaka to Shizuoka, where we meet another periscoper, Yuka-san, but about her later. 
From there on, we continue our trip uh, to a nature park near Mount Fuji and to a so-called traditional Japanese hotel, a Ryokan, but more about that in our second episode. See you then.